Hello and welcome back to the Let's Program Hangman series. Uh, in the last video we made a working shell of a Hangman game. It's not really a game yet, but we are able to draw a, a word on the screen. We're also able to prompt the user to guess. If the user's correct, it correctly places the letter they guessed in the word. And if they're wrong, it displays a list of missed letters to the user. So we definitely have a start to the Hangman game, but we want to add some more game-like elements. If you weren't following along in the last video, I suggest you go back and take a look at that, because um, we're going to start with the code that we created in that video. So let's head back to our programming environment and get started programming Hangman once again. Okay, welcome back to our programming environment. Uh, there's a couple things that we're going to want to do in this video. Um, I'm not ready to draw gallows yet, but I do want to put in a placeholder to make sure that we're able to uh, display those gallows once we get around to it. So that's, I think, where we're going to start off here. I want to initialize a new variable up here, and I'm going to call that hang, uh, hangman board. And this will represent what will be the ASCII art that represents our, uh, our gallows. But since I don't feel like drawing those right now, uh, I'm going to put in just placeholders, so we're going to say placeholder 0 for 0 misses. And then we'll end the triple quotes. And I'm just going to copy and paste this, say, uh, 5 more times, so 2, 3, 5, 6. And then I'm going to close this uh, final one off. And while I'm not ready to draw the gallows, I do want to make these uh, as descriptive as possible. I don't want to just have completely empty placeholders because I want these to display at a certain time. So let's go ahead and four and five. So this will do for right now. The idea of this variable is if you think about the incorrect letters, when the game starts, incorrect has a length of zero because there's no letters in the incorrect list. That coincides with the placeholder at index location zero. If the user guesses an X and there's no X in the word that the user guessed, we're going to append the X to the incorrect, uh, incorrect list here. If there's only an X in the incorrect list, then the user has missed one letter. Coincidentally, if the user has missed one letter, index location 1 has the user missing 1. So we're going to use the length of the incorrect word list to determine which of these placeholders we want to display. And after we're sure it's working, we can replace these placeholders with ASCII art representing gallows. Now adding this into our game is pretty simple. We already have our draw board function. And since we've added this list variable right here, I'm going to add a new line in draw board. And I'm going to print the hangman board. And I'm going to print it in an index location. And that index location will be the length of the incorrect list. And let's run this and make sure it's working correctly. Um, oh, I think I forgot a parentheses there at the end much better. So let's try that again. Okay, so I do. I am showing that placeholder with zero misses. And the word is speaker. So let's go ahead and guess an S. Now since S was a correct letter, it got appended to the correct list. And the length of incorrect is still zero, so we're still showing zero misses. But if I were to select the letter M, the length of missed letters is now 1, and placeholder 1 is now showing. If I were to sh put in an X, the length of missed letters is now 2, and we're showing placeholder number 2. So this is working the way it's intended. Now, one bug that this is going to create, and there's no way around it right now, is if we miss too many letters, we are going to get an index out of range error that will end our program. That's because once we hit uh, index location, let's see, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So once we're at index location 6, there is no placeholder at index location 6, which is giving us an index out of range error. But we can uh, add some code to our program to prevent that from happening. So we know that's a, a bug that we're going to have to work around. But in theory, this placeholder right here is displaying eventually where our gallows will be drawn, and it's displaying them correctly. 
So I guess what we're going to need next is probably a new function. So let's scroll down to uh, beneath our user guess. And what I want to do is I want to define a new function. I'm going to call it check win. And I haven't really thought out how I want to do this. There's a lot of different ways that we can do a win check. But the main goal of this function will be to check, check to see if the user has won or lost the game. So this function will be able to tell us if everything guessed so far is correct or if they've successfully guessed the entire word. It should also be able to tell us if the user has taken too many guesses and it's game over. Um, since I know I have a bug right here if the, our length of missed letters gets too long, I want to address that right now. So let's go into our check win function here and uh, we're going to say if the length of incorrect is greater than five since we have five index locations or we have uh, five letters so once the user has guessed five letters their their game is over so if the length of the incorrect letters is greater than five meaning they've added that sixth letter which would cause our program to bug we're going to return the string loss now in our game loop here we are going to run the check win function. And because this is returning a value, we're returning loss, we're going to set that to a variable called win condition equals check win. Right now it's either going to return nothing or it's going to return loss. And then I'm going to say if the win condition is equal to loss, then I'm going to print game over and I'm going to break my game loop. Now hopefully if this code is done correct, and we'll test it here in a second, the game should end on its own before we get to this index out of range error. So let's uh, run this program. We're gonna have the user, let's see, our word is airplane, so let's try Q. So we have placeholder one, W, Y, H. So we have placeholder four right now, we have four misses, that's awesome. I'm gonna go with an M. Great, so now we have five misses. We have five letters in our missed letters variable, and hopefully, if we make another incorrect guess, we will end our game. So let's select X. Perfect. When we selected X, the win condition, um, or check win ran, and it said, no, nope, the length of your incorrect letters is now six. Since six is greater than five, we're gonna return loss. And if loss gets returned, we're going to print game over, which we did, and then we're going to break this loop. And since the loop breaks, it never gets back to this draw board function, and it's never able to get that index out of range error. So that's good for our, our loss condition, but we also want to see if the user has won the game. So to do that, I'm going to go to my check win, and I'm going to do a uh, for loop. And I'm going to say for i in secret word. And I'm going to check, is I not in correct? Now, really what I want to do is I want to see if a letter in secret word is not already in the correct guess. Because let's say I had the word cat, and the letter C is not in the correct letters list. I know the user hasn't guessed a C, so I know that they haven't gotten the word correct. So... If the letter in the secret word hasn't already been guessed by the user and hasn't already been appended to correct, I'm going to return, um, let's see, no win. Uh, really, this is kind of irrelevant because I don't plan on using this, but what will happen is the first time we get to a letter that's in the secret word that the user hasn't guessed, we'll return no win, but that has the effect of stopping this function from running. Now, if I get all the way to the end of that for loop, I can return win. The reason I can return win is if I go through every letter in the secret word and every single letter is also in the correct guesses the user has made, then I know they've guessed every correct letter that's in that word and I can return a win. And I do want to do something with that win condition, uh, that win win condition. So we're going to say if the win condition did I spell that? No, win condition is equal to win. 
then I'm going to print you win and I'll even let the note the user know what the word was so the word was percent s and we'll let them know what the secret word was and I guess we should do that when the user loses too that's probably important as well so let's let's add that um, just so our user knows what the word was if they guessed it correctly they don't really need to be displayed but um, certainly if they screwed up they might want to know what the word was so let's add secret word here and then once the user has won we'll go ahead and break that loop again as well so let's test this out and see if it's working so we'll run our program and the first uh, the first test we're gonna go through is game over we want the user to lose so we're looking for the word computer so I'm gonna go X V B N M uh, I guess there's an M in computer L so the next missed letter should screw us up here so let's go with a Q and it says game over the word was computer fantastic and now let's try and get a win condition so our word is television so let's do T E L V I S O and now all I've got left is the N so let's check N fantastic when I guess the N every single letter that's in television is also in my correct letters list and it's telling me you've won the word was television so that's gonna do it for the second video where we're actually programming our hangman game hopefully everything we've done has made sense so far we have a working hangman game now we do have a placeholder in there for the ASCII art so in the next video I'd like to add ASCII art to actually display uh, gallows to the user and um, probably want to do some other stuff to um, maybe add some new features to our game expand the word list a little bit organize the program a little bit better so that will be what we're still working on but uh, hopefully you've understood everything that we're doing in the video thus far if you have any questions leave them there in the comments I'll be happy to help you out uh, otherwise I'll see you back next time as we expand on our hangman game Thanks for watching and have a great day.